When you hear about people doing violent and crazy things in this world, do you ever wonder who raised these fucking lunatics? <laughs> I have a son and I have no idea if I'm messing him up or not. I don't know whether I should discipline him or just ignore him like my 21-year-old daughter. I, I think her name's Blonde... Blonde Lady. <laughs> so I turned to the internet for answers and what I found was a viral celebrity who was promising to make parenting great again. Take a look. All the best parents agree that this generation of participation trophy kids is a bunch of spoiled brats. But what they don't agree on is what to f***ing do about it. But one man is not going to sit back and watch America become a nation of pussies. A photo that's become a huge talker on social media shows a man who's offering to spank misbehaving kids. So I sat down to talk about spanking with full-time ass whooper and part-time member of Guy Fieri's pit crew, Dwayne Stamper. <laughs> Parents today are more worried about being their best friend than they are their parent. Mm. We got a lot of bratty ass kids. Why have you become a spokesperson of ass whoopings? There's no book on people. raising children. Well, actually, <laughs> according to Amazon, there are over 60,000 books written on the topic by self proclaimed parenting experts like Deborah Godfrey. I run a business called Positive Parenting. So I guess the first question is, um, spanking or no? No, absolutely not. Dwayne Stamper, he actually had a stand that said it, three ass whoopings. Yeah, it's terrible. Kids need love and guidance. Mm -hmm. And they need to be seen, heard and understood. They seem like a People? bunch of needy <laughs> don't they? <laughs> Would have you smacked baby Hitler? There was actually quite a study done by Alice Miller. Oh, God. And their absolute <laughs> obedience to authority as causative. So Hitler killed the Jews because he was smacked? Yes. I honestly believe if you took two schools. Right. You offered this school with full paddles. Yeah. And you had another school that's set up in today's society. Mm. This school with the paddle would have higher grades and a higher graduation rate. But th we, don't, we don't have any statistics on this week. That's just Stamper Stats. Stamper Stats! <laughs> Stamper Stats may work for a skull like Dwayne Stamper, but the rest of us should probably rely on actual statistics. New study shows children who are spanked are more likely to defy parents, have more aggression, and mental health problems. But just to be sure, I thought it might be helpful to see which parenting style gets better results up against the misbehaving 10-year-old Jim Jeffries. F*** you, Mum. Ouch. That hurts. Well, you f***ing deserve it. Mm. I don't want to go to school. You need a mental health day? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> f*** off, Dad. Yeah, now I want to whoop you. <laughs> oh, f***. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That gets your attention. Yeah. Now, the next time, you would listen, right? Stamper stats. <laughs> I was starting to like Dwayne before he got medieval on my bum, <laughs> and that got me thinking. How do his kids feel about their ass whooping dad? Are your children grown? Yeah. Do they resent you in any way? My no. daughter never got a whooping. My son remembers one time. What was that one? I grabbed him by the shirt and I picked him up on the wall and I was like, tell me what your damn grades are now. And I scared him to the point he said, okay, I'll show you. And that was it. Mm. He's got a two year, soon to be two. Yeah. And he believes in whooping. You right. know, I once smacked my daughter, she said something I don't just kept mouth and whatever. Disrespectful. I reached over, I smacked her. Right. I thought. <laughs> My daughter never got a whooping. Stamper stats. <laughs> but to be fair, I wonder how our parenting experts' kids turned out. My daughter calls me for advice all the time, and it, it amazes me. It's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're calling me for advice because she is such a better mom than I ever was. Oh. I have three adult kids, mm. and none of them have TVs. You, you, you told your kids not to have TVs. I didn't tell them not to, but I didn't have TV in my house. You've never had a TV? Ew. I tell my son, watch TV as much of it as possible every <laughs> single day. That's a wonderful invention in the world. Since you don't watch TV, look, I guess it can be summed up very easily, right? You take the good, right? You take the bad, you take the rest, and then you have, you know, the facts of life, right? <laughs> Right, and you as a parent are taking what you liked about what your parents did mm -hmm. and using that. Well, the, the world doesn't move to the beat of just one drum, right? <laughs> like what might be right for one is not be right for some. Because a lot of times people come from two different backgrounds and they don't agree and then they fight about the parenting. Yes, 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 yes. At the end of the day, there has to be a middle ground between spanking my son or having a kid who doesn't f***ing watch TV.
but one thing is clear. Parents are pushed to their limit, and I feel like we're all just doing the best we yes. can. Making your way in the world today takes everything you got, right? You're somewhere where everybody knows your name and they're really glad you came. Yes.